Well, good morning, everybody. It's a pleasure uh, for me to uh, open this uh, symposium on uh, New Frontier in uh, Evolution. I have put in my opening slide uh, uh, a, a phrase that was made by uh, an evolutionary biologist. Uh, he was also an Orthodox uh, Christian, uh, Theodosius uh, Dobzhansky, uh, who said that nothing in biology makes sense except at the light of evolution. And this was, uh, this was an article ac actually he wrote uh, in American Biology Teacher in response to uh, the creationism uh, movement uh, that was um, uh, prevailed at the time uh, in the U.S. Uh, well, uh, and it's, now it's changed its, um, it, not its, uh, its uh, intentions, but its name to intelligent design. But um, uh, this was, this was a, a very strong statement uh, by, uh, by uh, Dobzhansky. Um, uh, these words are, are not only important uh, uh, words because they came from a, an Orthodox Christians, but also because they, um, they represent, in a way, uh, the anomality uh, in, in among, even among scientists uh, in their treatment of evolution and evolutionary theory. Uh, especially, it, it's amazing because this is a fundamental theory that was... Uh, uh, put uh, together uh, over 150 years ago, and uh, still is still controversial in, in a way. And it, it also reflects, if you uh, if you look at the literature, if you look, uh, uh, for example, in in uh, some of the medical literature, uh, the word evolution uh, only late in the late years start to to appear. And evolutionary medicine has become now uh, quite um, uh, uh, quite popular. Uh, but in early years, uh, they were using any other words like development and, and, and anything else uh, but evolution. And I think that uh, uh, it, it is very important. And I'm, I'm, very, uh, I'm very glad, very satisfied that the Dan David uh, Committee has decided to uh, 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 use evolution as, as one of the past discipline uh, for, for the prize. Um, it is, uh, in, in a way, um, another, another point that is uh, very, uh, very enlightening is that last year was, um, was the evolution year, actually. Uh, if should the, the, the committee choose last year uh, uh, evolution as one of the disciplines, it would be, uh, it would be appropriate. Uh, however, as we say, better late than never. Uh, but this, this last year was the uh, 200th year of Darwin's birthday and 150 years of his uh, publishing his book uh, on the origin of species. And uh, uh, I think it, it um, a, a raised again um, uh, the interest of the general public uh, in uh, evolutionary theory. Uh, today's symposium, uh, I'm sure, will reflect uh, the evolutionary, uh, the, the breadth of evolutionary research. Um, it's, um, uh, it, We'll start with um, uh, human evolution, uh, aspects of human evolution, and we'll go through uh, uh, different um, uh, taxa and phyla uh, to all the way go back to population genetics and, and again, uh, human, uh, human evolution. So um, I welcome you, and uh, in these words, I would like to invite uh, our dean, the dean of the uh, Faculty of Life Sciences, uh, to say uh, opening words. Good morning, everybody. Distinguished guests, colleagues, and friends, it is my privilege and honor to open the symposium on new frontiers in evolution, especially since one of the speakers is Professor Marcus Feldman, the laureate of the 2011 Dan David Prize. Although I studied allophilic archaea for uh, the last 40 years, many years before they were even recognized as evolutionary distinct prokaryotes, closer to uh, evolutionary to eukaryotes than to bacteria, it will be uh, pretentious for me to try to tell this audience anything about evolution. Nevertheless, I cannot resist telling you about my experience as an evolutionary biologist. About 25 years ago, I was invited by Ford Doolittle to become 
foreign associate of the Canadian Institute for Advanced Research Program on Molecular Evolution. Attending the annual meetings of the Institute, I learned a lot about phylogenetic tree building. However, I have to admit that I didn't understand very much the mathematics of the tree building. Whenever somebody presented data that did not fit the, accept the accepted trees, I used to comment that this is due to lateral gene transfer, realizing that this is about my biggest contribution to the discussion and that at the time the notion of lateral gene transfer was unacceptable, my affiliation with the Institute was terminated. Ironically, later, uh, ironically, lateral gene transfer is recognized by now as one of the most important driving forces in evolution. I wish you all exciting, co exciting conference and following my personal experience, however, I would like also to suggest do not hesitate to question the conventional wisdom. Uh, well, it's a pleasure to invite the uh, uh, next welcome uh, addressee, uh, my boss, the head of the department, uh, Professor Amir Ali. Please. Good morning, all. Good morning, all, uh, distinguished guests and, and everybody. Um, I started my term as a department chair just a few months ago, and as I did, I was approached by one of our distinguished members of the department. And he raised that old and, and periodically resurfacing uh, uh, idea. Why don't we change the name of our department? When asked what name he did, in, he did have in mind, he said, well, I don't know, perhaps something more sexy, something, uh, I don't know, evolution and ecology, or evolution and behavior, something with evolution. So this is, in a, in a nutshell, the whole story. The word evolution actually uh, was first used uh, in 1762 in, in, the, in the context of development of species. And here we are 250 years later, and still it, no, it lost nothing of its charm, its appeal, and to be honest, no, nor did it, it stop steering deep and intense feeling and interest uh, outside, but also within academia. So the, the wonderful symposium that had been put together here in honor of, of Professor Mark Feldman uh, um, present a glimpse of the extensive and cutting edge research in current field of evolution. There is no other more suitable site to hold this event than Tel Aviv, but, but Tel Aviv University, whose department, uh, department of Zoology is a long-time leader in the field. So I wish you all a very interesting and enjoyable day.